Some things in fishing run counterintuitive to common sense. So, ice out smallmouths holding deep in frigid water should be lethargic in the extreme, right? Well, Ooh, let's have a look. Nice fish. And it is dead cold water. We've got 42 degree water temperatures today. Whoop, in we go. So we'll have a look at the bait here in a second. It's a lipless bait called the Berkeley Warpig, new introduction last year. And we're gonna, I'm gonna re-emphasize re -emphasize something that we've been talking about for about five years, but it, and it gets caught on a little bit, but not totally. So, and that is using lipless lures in deeper water. Uh, and I'll show you how to use them. And also spoons a lot of times works. So I do this right at ice out a lot. And we've got, you know, deeper water here. These fish are transitioning from deep winter areas, uh, 30, 40 feet deep up into shallow stuff. They're not pushed up shallow today at all, as far as I can tell. They may have by, eventually by the end of the day, but back we go, we're started. So there's the war pig right there. Lipless lure. And I fish this so from anywhere from 12 down to about 30 feet deep and the spoons uh, at the same depth in many cases so it's a great way to search for fish that are holding deeper so this is prime time basically you wouldn't think it's kind of counterintuitive you'd think that uh, fishing these baits fairly aggressively when the water temperature is, is this cold wouldn't turn fish on but it really does so right after ice out i mean we've literally got uh, the ice is out probably three or four days ago still some ice on the main lake so Basically, basically making long casts, letting the lure sink to the bottom. So every time it touches down, immediate pull up about a foot, foot and a half. Let it drop almost on a tight line. You're going to see the bite with a lipless lure a lot of the times, as long as you're not ripping it. When you're pulling it, you're going to see the bite. When you're ripping it, you got to get a rhythm going. That's a different little bit of a story. There, I got him. Not a big one, but he grabbed it pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And we're gonna swing him right up and in here. He grabbed it on the back end. Most of the time, they actually, a lot of times, are hooked on that front hook. Not that guy, though. And again, you can see how I'm just pulling it just very firmly. As soon as it touches bottom, you pull up a foot and a half. You let it drop almost on a semi-tight line and pull up. So just real distinct pull. And that's oftentimes what gets these small mouse with the lipless lure. Although sometimes ripping will do it too. I'll try ripping next. Back we go. So just a seven foot, it could be six and a half foot uh, Vendetta casting rod, medium action, uh, MGX Revo reel right here, 20 pound Berkeley Trilene braid. And then I've got a, a four foot section of 20 pound or, or uh, fluorocarbon at the end. And that suffices in this situation right here. So let's see if the Ripping will work again for us. There's one, right there. A lot of times they like to be away from the boat, but, but that fish was actually pretty close. Not a big fish. But it shows you, the, gives you the idea. Easy there, buddy. Deadly technique. Used it in the Dakotas. Used it in Minnesota and Ontario. Used it on the Great Lakes. Three, two of the, the Great Lakes. So, back we go, bud. And make another cast. Probably a little school of them right on that drop, right? There are, there apparently are a little school on that drop. About 25 feet down, 22 maybe is shallow. So rip, let it fall, rip. And of course the lipless lure is noisy and it's flashy and it's given off a lot of vibration. And they can't tell exactly what it is a lot of times. They know it's something they might want to chew on. Could be a crayfish, could be a wounded shad or in this lake, wounded cisco. And curiosity gets the best of the smallmouth a lot of times. And you take a nip and you got them. Geez, I got them already. Man, they're just after that pig. Just can't resist it. 
a lot of times they haven't seen this kind of thing done in deep water like that before. And small mouths are so curious. Come on, in we go. Whoop. Got him hooked on the outside of the net. Grab him here. And again, these fish are on fire after that bait. And I had fish through there, like I said, with jigs before for about 20 minutes, uh, classic jig spot. And they were not on those jigs and they cannot resist what I'm doing here. So just the most completely still for the most part across the country overlook technique there is with that lipless bait, the war pig, and then the spoons too, which we didn't even get to use today. But what a technique, man, you can't pass this up. Early season, late season, and with that spoon in particular, also, also during the summertime.